Okay. This channel is called Nate the Lawyer. And of course, he is surprised, as men are, that they found out the, the women's soccer league that has been crying for equal pay has actually been making more money than the men all this time. And that uh, when offered an equal deal, uh, they rejected it. So you know what's going on up front. But the reason I'm showing this video is not only to highlight that, but Nate's uh, reaction to it. Guys are really lost. Now let's hear it. Exact same contract. We should be cheering for joy, equal pay. But the women's national team and the men's national angry. So let's get past this. I don't need his intro. Let's see. He was paid under the $8 million worth of compensation. Now, the U.S. Soccer Federation did respond to these arguments. They said first that women's soccer brings in less money. For instance, if the women win a World Cup, the total prize pool for women's soccer was about $40 million. That is in contrast to the men's World Cup, where the total prize pool is $400 million. Ten times. Yes, and I want to point out that it's only between the two genders that uh, people expect the people who make less money to earn the same. So, by the way, these, these men are going to back these women who are really screwing them over. It's more. And U.S. soccer is essentially saying they can't pay the women the same prize money as the men because that prize money doesn't exist. The second argument that is made by the U.S. Soccer Federation is that the women were offered the men's deal and rejected it. See, the men are paid on a pay-to-play schedule. So if the men don't play in a game, they don't get paid. Remember during the pandemic when U.S. soccer canceled all men's soccer games? Well, the men got paid nothing. Zero. They got no money for that. While the women who had guaranteed money got paid $100,000 salaries and this full benefits package. And Yeah, women want to get paid for being women. That's right. That's true. They didn't want to take this, the deal that men did. Men have to earn their way through life. And women are not about that. They never have been. And they received all of this during the pandemic while the men received nothing. And third, U.S. soccer says the women actually got paid more than the men. Yes, the women who are suing for pay discrimination because they are not being paid like the men actually were better off. They were paid more than the men. Of course. Of course. And I bet these men are going to back these women. These men get nothing from these women. <laughs> You'll see. But they all they know is they want to pander to the opposite sex, even when they get zero out of the deal. And we're talking both overall and on a per game basis. So the news media ignored the fact that the women got guaranteed money, full benefits, and made more than the men. And they care. Yes. Lawyer. What, what's your name again? Sorry, I'm forgetting it. What's your name? Nate the Lawyer? Yeah, it's Nate the Lawyer. Uh, the media is feminist run. Nate the Lawyer. The fe media is feminist run. And they will always ignore anything that is pro-male. And, and they will back anything that's anti-male. The soccer league actually is, um, I can't say the pro-male, but they're, they're definitely at least being fair. Kept reporting that the women's national team was discriminated against, and this was a fight for equal pay. When the issue eventually went in front of a judge and evidence had to be presented, the court found that the women's claims of equal pay were essentially nonsense. The court found first that the... I'm going to correct you, Nate. The, it, I'm going to correct the, the soccer league itself. It's not n nonsense. It is, it is terrible. It is unjust what these women have done. And I find when women do bad things like this, they'll call it nonsense. If, if this was another group of men screwing these guys over like this, 
they would not say it's nonsense. They would say it's criminal. And I suspect there'd be consequences for those men. Notice Nate, the lawyer, there's never consequences for these girls. When we were offered the same deal as the men and rejected it for guaranteed money. The court also found that the women made more money than the men, both overall and on a per game basis. And lastly, the court found that even though it's true, the women would have been paid more under the men's deal. Now, these are the facts. So unhappy with that result, the women's national team. I'm not really that happy over it. I'm not that happy because the media doesn't vindicate these men. Uh, it, it continues to uphold this false rhetoric to smear men. And that includes you, Nate. You're a man. And you're always going to be smeared as one. So this is not a happy thing. At least not totally. I, it's, it's happy that it's finally coming to light to some people. But men's reactions are terrible. Your reaction is terrible. <laughs> really, when you think about it. Like, the facts don't matter if, if justice is done. Like, these women should be shamed publicly. And there, there should be a true equalizing like giving the, the men's soccer team some of that money the women got. They would have to retroactively give these money, men some money. Team appealed the lawsuit. Now, essentially, even though they were paid more than the men, they believe they deserve this extra $60 million on top. Now, while this appeal was happening, the men's national team, they jumped on the band. They jumped. Matt, I'm going to correct you. It's not that they believe it. They just want it. Okay. They filed a brief in support of the women's claims of unequal pay, saying they support the women's national team. Then something very interesting. There you go. I told you this would happen. These guys were smeared by these women as being privileged over them. And then uh, they supported these women. <laughs> these men deserve everything they get. Sorry, but I'm just losing my faith in humanity. Men deserve what they get if they don't show any dignity in the face of injustice. See, the U.S. men's national team's contract expired in 2018. So they've been working without a contract, but they've been working under those same provisions of the 2018 CBA. The women's national team contract. So since both contracts are up for renewal, what was U.S. soccer going to do? See, they were in a position where if they offered the men and women's team different deals, and God forbid the men got paid more or the women got paid more, it seems that the other side could easily sue for pay discrimination, right? Hey, we signed a deal, a better deal than the women, so we should be paid more. The women. Actually, Matt, they're covering their asses, but truthfully, from what I see, man, I don't think the men would put up a stink. I mean, they found out that the women were making more than them. And they, they were backing women all this time. Let me say, we signed a better deal than the men and we should get paid. It's, it's crazy. So U.S. soccer said, well, let's just keep this simple. We are going to offer both teams one deal and it's going to be identical for them both. So U.S. soccer offered both teams the same deal, totally identical. Now to make sure that the deals were 100% equal, the FIFA prize money would be split evenly between the two teams. So essentially, if the men won the $400 in prize money from FIFA and the women won their $2 million in prize money from FIFA, then all that money would be taken and put into one pot and split evenly between the men's and the women's team. If the men accept that, which no doubt they will, it shows you just how pathetic they are. I'm telling you, that's why this is nothing to celebrate. The men are making less than the women. It's not equal. It's that simple. And men are happy with that. <laughs> and the, the women on the soccer, other opposing team or league or whatever, they're not these guys' girlfriends or wives. Nate, the lawyer, there's something wrong with male human psychology. Men will take any injustice as long as a woman's the perpetrator. Right? 
equal pay. So, so then it wouldn't matter who brought in more money from FIFA, right? It, it wouldn't matter that the men's team can make $400 million while the women's team can only make $2 million. That wouldn't matter. They would essentially take FIFA out of the game. And the women then would pay by FIFA's prize money. So they don't have this problem in the future. U.S. Soccer made this statement that they would not agree to a CBA with either union that does not take the important step of equalizing the World Cup prize money. Because obviously this was the sticking point in the women's national team's lawsuit, the one that the men are now supporting. When this was announced that U.S. soccer was going to pay the men's team and women's team equally, the women's national team's fans cheered. Equal pay. Equal pay. Here's what the women's national team said. Let me check that out. Let me check Just a minute. Let me check that out. Got to get it. Team's fans cheered. Equal pay. What we got here? Peter Haley, Brad Barnett. What's this one up there? Jeff Carlisle. Yep. They're all men, right? These men are, are cheering for something that is unjust. But they're willing to give women extras. So these are the bad boys that are all against women's equality. <laughs> pay. Equal pay. Here's what the women's national team said on Twitter about, about being offered equal pay. U.S. Women's National Team Players Association Twitter account. The United States Soccer Federation's PR stunt and bargaining through the media will not bring us any closer to a fair agreement. Offering equal pay? In contrast. Okay. <laughs> Lawyer. <laughs> you can see now you, you've got that weird surprise look like I don't understand. I understand perfectly. These ladies were never for equal pay. Women are never for equal pay. They want to be paid just to exist. The relationship between men and women, that's what it is. The woman's paid to exist. The man bribes her into her, his life. She gets more. So everyone can see they want more. And this is the gender dynamics playing. And so there's nothing to be surprised about. So why are you acting surprised? We are committed to bargaining in good faith to achieve equal pay and the safest working conditions possible. The proposal. Sorry, sorry, Nate. I got to the, the safest work environment. What do they mean by that? What do they mean by that? Soccer isn't a contact sport. What are they talking about? I suspect, Nate, when they say safe is probably if they, the women have to deal with the men. Maybe they have like, uh, or, or, or any man, maybe they want to be able to get men fired that they don't like. That the United States Soccer Federation made recently to us does neither. Hold on. They offered you the identical contract to the men. 100%. Isn't this what the women's national team have been claiming for for the past X amount of years? We want... Nate. This has been going on since the 1960s when met women, once they got in the nuclear age, they turned around and started calling men pigs and, and misogynist. Well, there wasn't misogynist. What was the word back there? Macho or whatever. Male chauvinist, that's it. This has been going on for 60 years. And all you guys actually knew this was the fake case, you know. It, and it's so bad now, someone like you can show the blatant lie of it, and you're still surprised. Why are you still surprised? Exactly what the men get. They offered it to them publicly, and they're saying they don't want it. It's a publicity stunt. No. But it's not really a fair deal, though, because the men bring in more money. You know, so it's not equal even then. Let's keep it 100. Soccer. U.S. soccer called their bluff. That's why the men's team and the women's team are not celebrating this equal pay, right? They had no comment, even though they were backing equal pay. 
And initially, the women's national team had no comment either. Think about that. They're literally being offered equal pay, and they're not celebrating at all. They're upset. Interestingly are the, enough, are I've, the men's team actually upset that they're getting equal pay? Is that the case? I was fooled because I expected the women's national team would be happy. Maybe the men's national team, not so much, but I expect the women's national team would have been happy. Well, it just shows you, no offense to you, Nate. It's not just you. This goes to show the gullibility of men. Men are copers. They cope all the time. Here you are coping. How long? How old are you, Nag? <laughs> You've been around for decades. You haven't noticed all this inequality between the sexes since you were young? I certainly have. Men have been smeared for decades and decades. They got their equal pay. So at the end of the day, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think the women's national... We don't really know the specifics of the deal. This is... The ladies have never accepted equal equality between themselves and men ever ever nate the lawyer what makes you think they're going to do it now this is something that they did not want doesn't seem they ever want to pay. they thought that they could just get the increased bonuses that the men's team had a whole bunch of risk within their agreement. think about that think about nate you're making another mistake you're still coping these women understand perfectly this stuff has come, come out before many times. When I first got on YouTube eight years ago, there's all kinds of inequalities between men and women. That is, the men were getting the shaft. That was eight years ago, actually going on nine. So, I mean, it, this is the, it's not a lack of understanding from the women. They want it this way. About what the men's team agreement was. It was an agreement where if they don't play, they don't get paid. They weren't paid. But the women actually did get paid. So if you just go back a year ago, then U.S. soccer could have a problem with the men's team. Because think about this. The men's team, U.S. soccer now, saying that... Nate, I wish they would, but they'll never do it. They should on principle. Because they, these men who just mind their business and play soccer have been smeared by these women on the other side as privileged people that got more money than them. But I, these men will accept that slap in the face. Men just do. And this is what I love about this video you're doing, Nate, is that people will shit on the geeks. They'll crap on the nerds and say, oh, the, you, you're just incels that can't get laid. This is happening in sports with guys who are athletic and good looking and, and and they play something that's popular that's supposed to be you know it's backed by the, the the women and yet they're losers just as much as the geeks they're losers in that they they get injustice ha handed to them and they accept it that they've been discriminated against because they're men and their claim, I think, would even be more compelling than a women's team because they got paid during the pandemic, zero. They didn't get anything. The women get, are being paid salaries, they're getting all these benefits. The men's team didn't get anything. So it's, it's a weird little quandary that we find ourselves in. It's not weird and it's not a quandary. <laughs> it's perfectly natural, Nate, the lawyer. This is how it has always played out between the sexes. The women get more than the men, and then they crap on the men for giving them more. It has always been that way. And it, it's, all, it's not a quandary. You're making it, you're simple, you're making it, you're trivializing it. This is an injustice that men should be up in arms about. Because equal pay means equal pay for who? Is it for the men's team? Is it for the women inbound? Now we talk about equal pay because it's not getting the same contract. It's not getting the same deal. It's not getting the same money. It's something else. Hopefully the women's national team will expound upon this and let us know exactly what they want. They're going to gaslight you. They did gaslight you.
they're going to gaslight us all. You just showed it, Nate, that these women gaslight. They're offered the deal and they just said, no, it's still unequal. There's, there was no apologies. There was no, oh, I see, I see. You see, if it was a, just a misunderstanding, the girls would say, oh, I see, I get it now. But they don't do that because it's never been in a misunderstanding. You are the one who's misunderstanding. You and the average guy out there, the average guy in your comment section probably has a misunderstanding because you guys can't wrap your head around the hostility women have towards men and the usury of men. Now look at Mojo, look at your own comment section. Mojo, is, isn't it crazy how the story dominated the headlines for years until it was exposed and it magically disappeared? He's right. <laughs> of course, and let's see, look at this guy, A.M. Alani. Now, 51% of, of France 24 still has it on air. Don't know why. Anyone got some input? AM can't figure it out. <laughs> but look at this. Okay. MK3, they make a huge ass deal out of it. All women in the, in the world hears about it, and there is an out outcry. Even after they fix it, they never fixed it, MK. The men are still getting short shafted. Or better yet, make a woman paid more. Yes, that's better. Money than the women in the world will not hear about it and will still think they get paid less. They don't think they get paid less, MK. Uh, they're just going to lie about it. And even if it was a lie from the start, the world is fucking fucked. You see, this is what I, I can't stand to see. Uh, the guys don't say these women are hostile towards us and never liked us. They just say the world is fucked. They make it gender neutral. And AM again says, maybe they also rejected the deal because it was a PR stunt in the end. So he's giving in to the rhetoric, the false rhetoric. They were paid as women, not as athletes. Or am I too optimistic about them? Yeah, you are too optimistic and you've got it backwards. These women want to be paid as women, not as athletes. When they look at what the men get and they want more, that's them being paid as women, AM. So, I mean, the whole comment section is just as bad. Like, this is why I made this channel. Nate the lawyer, this is why I made my channel. Because men need a wake-up call, one, and a boot in the ass, two. Because really, this running and scuttling and hiding your head in the sand I'm sorry, it's just pathetic. And I'm not just like crapping on you in particular, Nate. Look at your comment section. This is the way men are. At, at least I just want men to be honest and say, I'm willing to deal with the injustice. At the very beginning, that's the beginning. I'm willing to, like these, these uh, soccer, male soccer players, I don't know why they just don't turn around and say, yeah, the women can be paid more than us and we will deal with that. Because then they would have to call out their own bad behavior. They would have to put a mirror to their faces. And men just don't want to do that. 